I jolt up from my resting position. I look where the sound was coming from, and I see this kid across the room staring straight daggers into my soul. Hey, whoever that was, turn it off now. I airdrop this video to a random I look over one last time and the kid's glaze has not moved from my face. He looks at me, raises his hand. Yeah, you, what do you want? Excuse me? I know there are some of you who watched part one and have context to the story. I also know that there are some of you who don't, so I'm just going to recap this story really quickly. However, I do suggest that you watch part one as you'll understand this video more. And I do think it's a very funny video personally, but you know, your choice, bro. I'm not watching your video. <sighs> So basically because of my slipping grades, my mom restricted my phone to only work during school hours. But since that was the case, I could no longer watch spicy videos. So I resorted to screen recording said videos in class and enjoying them at home with no Wi-Fi. But eventually that became too risky and my mom found out that I was using hella data and she told me to leave my phone and my school Chromebook downstairs. But me being the crackhead I was for it at the time, I devised a plan to still be able to watch spicy videos. I'm not gonna make this too long, but for more details, watch part one dog i'm not watching your video man As I said in the last video, my friend Ben had given me a burner phone because I needed a phone to run my YouTube channel on at the time. And because of my bad grades, my mom kept putting restrictions on my main phone. But the burner didn't have data and I couldn't connect it to Wi-Fi at home because if I did, I'd get caught. So I'd go to school, pull up a spicy video on my main phone, and send the link to my Chromebook. I'd then put that link into a link to MP4 video file converter, download the video, use a file transfer app to move the video from my Chromebook to my main phone the reason i couldn't send it to the burner was because it was too old and incompatible then i'd airdrop the spicy video from the main phone to my burner go home leave my main phone and my chromebook downstairs as my mom instructed and then i'd have fully downloaded spicy videos on my burner to watch with no wi-fi at home that was the plan that i had come up with and i went to sleep that night fully confident in said plan so fast forward to the next day and it's time to run it i go into class sit down in the back and it was on i pop in an airpod and pull up a video on my main phone under my desk and prepare to download it now this video was interesting in particular because the girl introed it <laughs> like a like a vlogger or something she said and i quote Hello, everybody. So today I'm going to be blah, 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 blah. I just remember finding that funny. I take the video and copy the link and send it to my Chromebook. I look at the link on the Google Doc on my computer and I just pause because this, this is the risky part because if I open the link to this video, it's gonna pop up full screen as I open a new tab. And I do gotta say, hiding a phone screen is significantly easier than hiding a Chromebook screen. I look up and see my teacher on the other side of the room. Once again, I was in the back, so I decided to make my move. I double check that my computer is on mute. I open the link and right as it opens full screen, I realize I just made a terrible mistake because I feel something on my back end. It was my shivers because I realized I didn't even have to open the link. I could have just copied it. I'm making mistakes. I'm, I'm too nervous. I close the Chromebook. I take a deep breath and calm down. I regain my footing and continue the plan. I close the spicy video tab that I stupidly opened. I look up and my teacher's preoccupied. So I copy the link into a Google Doc, put it through my link to MP4 video file converter. I look up again and my teacher's still preoccupied. So I proceed and download the video. The hard part is almost over. I then pull up my phone and open my file transfer app. I go to transfer the spicy video. So what you got going on over here, yo-yo? You know, you never really think about how precious life is until you're on the verge of death. I only say that because the speed that my heart was beating could not have been safe, bro. Like if it was jumping any harder, I'd be jumping at a Juice World concert. I look up and my teacher is in my face, but he's on the other side of the laptop. So I can't tell if he knows what's on the screen right now, but I'm too paralyzed in fear to close the tab. The tab that has the thumbnail of the spicy video on it. I also don't want to make any sudden moves because he'll think I'm hiding something. So I tell him, 
What do you mean? What do I got going on right now? Well, I mean, I just said we're going to be watching the movie and I asked you to turn off the light, but you clearly seem preoccupied right now. So I'm just wondering what this is it? I'm, I'm getting caught. I, I know I'm getting caught because my thoughts have the echo effect on it. Well, I might as well glance at the thumbnail one last time. Yo, yo. Huh? If I catch you again, I'm writing you up. Close the Chromebook and pay attention. He reaches over and turns off the light and... Oh my gosh, I made it out. I closed my laptop and the only thing I'm thinking is... Oh, I got to see it through, bro. <laughs> but I need to move carefully because now my teacher is paying attention to me. If I fold, I'm compromised. This situation is more on the ropes than Hannah Baker. I lean back, take the Chromebook, open it in my book bag and transfer the video to my main phone. And then I close it. I'm now on the last step. I see the video on my main phone. All I have to do is airdrop it to my burner. I look up at my teacher, nothing. I click airdrop and I finish. I, I, I really did it. I turn off my phone, lean back in triumph. I close my eyes in relaxation and... Hello, everybody. I jolt up from my resting position. I look where the sound was coming from and I see this kid across the room staring straight daggers into my soul hey whoever that was turn it off now my teacher yells i grab my phone look down and realize i airdrop this video to a random nigga and i know that he knows that it's a spicy video because it was the same freaking youtube blogger mukbang smasher pass ass intro and the shorty was wearing nothing in the video i look over one last time and the kid's glaze has not moved from my face he looks at me raises his hand yeah you what do you want excuse me can i use the bathroom he gets up and leaves and i'm just there with no idea what to do. I, I didn't get in trouble because bro never snitched. He just got up and left. I sit back in my chair and wonder, what, the, what just happened? To be honest, the video I was trying to download was A1, so who knows? I might have put bro on. I hope you strive to not be as down bad as I was as a kid, bro. Just... Just don't do it. I'm about to go. These niggas hoes. Take time small like stock drop bro. Pull out the pole. Stop them out with a back of my soul. Duck on head and nigga. I be your throat. Sure she left in my chokes. I'm about to be in her throat. Up in the scope. Put him in a pack and light it up. Whoa. Huh. Whoa. Yo. Whoa. Bitch. Turn up. Try to get more shots than my turn up. Driving a poor shot. Bitch. I swear about giving a poor shots with my burner. Hey. I'm in the spot and I look at the people. Everything I'm doing is all illegal. I feel my wrist. Bitch. I feel like I'm zero. Shoot more clips than a nigga at Rico. Cap a new nigga like every week. I get through 40s. I feel like I'm feet. Shout out to white. Everyone. No, you're a totin' a giant I'm the one to start up all the fight And I'm packin' the weight Give a fuck about a diet I stand on my money I'm tall as a titan You need a weight I be the one that they bite Huh, whoa I'm out of go These niggas hoes They done small like Stop trying to Pull up the pole Stop him out with a pack of my soul Knuckle headed yeah. nigga I be your coat Shorty she left in my chokes I'm out of here in the throat Up in the scope Put him in that pack And let it up Huh, whoa Huh, whoa